Okay, good morning. So, welcome to our class, Comsai 132, which is uh, computer architecture. Okay, so as we Comsai 125, ano yung uh, idea nyo when it comes to uh, architecture, computer architecture. First row. Kahit ano lang, kahit uh, random stuff na dumadating sa isip nyo when you uh, hear the word uh, computer architecture. Sir, bali parang ano sir, yung IT yun, uh, nasa na naisip ka sir, is yung parang hardware and kung paano um, it's all built together and how it comes together and how it translates para mag-lapin siya. So. Okay, so nice. So it's something to do with the low level, the hardware level, and uh, the idea is yeah, kung paano siya na-integrate as a system na makakapag-execute ka na ngayon ng program. That's a that's a nice idea. Okay, so, that's essentially what we're going to talk about in this course. Okay? And uh, fortunately, this is my uh, somehow first time to teach this. So again, this will be more of an experimental uh, class. Traditionally, uh, this class is being taught by Professor Ricario. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to make some adjustments. Uh, I will not be fully depending on his style and his materials. And I will focus more on the way how I see uh, this uh, computer architecture course in Bitor. But before that, let's talk about the uh, uh, stuff related to the course itself that was uh, gonna approve ng Board of Regents right, for the curriculum. So we have uh, this course number comes say 132. Uh, it's actually part of the systems uh, aspect of computer science. So remember, somehow we can uh, uh, divide computer science into three parts. We have uh, theory, systems, and applications. And computer architecture, operating systems, uh, assembly language programming, uh, COMSAI 130, digital design, COMSAI 137, they are under the systems part. Meaning, when you say systems, uh, they describe how things work. So yeah, so here we're going to talk about how the hardware works, how does the computer really perform the addition or the arithmetic operations, right? the loading and reading from memory, all those things will be discussed in this class. And unfortunately, uh, as a side note, diba, yung ICS nag hire ng mga bagong instructor, right? and we usually ask them, anong subject ang ayaw nyo ituro. Okay. So, kung mag apply kayo ng, ano, ng instructor dito, expect that you will be asked during your, uh, let's say, teaching them or what subject anong ayaw nyo ituro. And majority, ayaw nyo lang ituro yung Comsai 132. So, I don't know, pero kaya ako yung sa akin binigay ito kasi walang gusto magturo. Eh. So, anyway, so, uh, what are the things that we're going to talk about in Comsai 132? So, these are the main things. Uh, advanced topics in computer systems organization from a designer's point of view. Okay. So, the, the idea here is uh, you are asked to build a computer, hardware. Right. How do you do that? Right. So, it's basically uh, what we're going to talk about here. So, uh, topics would include uh, multiprocessing, uh, pipelining, uh, array processors, associative processors, okay? uh, microprogramming, uh, te microprogramming techniques for uh, increasing memory bandwidth, etc. So, there are a lot of uh, heavy stuff here. Okay? So, probably that's why uh, uh, a lot of faculty don't like uh, to teach this. Uh, because I just want to write programs. Why do I need to learn this, right? So that's a, a common uh, thing. But understanding how the hardware works, how uh, they uh, operate sabay sabay or uh, as a system, in your essence, right? And we we'll talk about virtual memory. Although in one two five, we're also going to talk about virtual memory, buses, okay, uh, multiprogramming, and other stuff. Network principles and protocols will be discussed in Comsai uh, 137. So, parang yun yan. Siguro ako, as a pro, uh, assistant professor here, 
nagfo-focus ako sa systems. Okay? So I like 130, I like 131, I like 132, 125, 137. So yung mga apat so sometimes they ano parang jack series yon. Okay? <laughs> so uh ako yung mahawak ko. So uh, basically that's the idea. Now, uh Formally, the prerequisite for uh, Comsai wanted is 131, which you took last time. Right? But I think, based on my review of this course, the important, the important uh, prerequisite is Comsai 130. So when did you take Comsai 130? Two sems ago. So it's two sems ago also. So two years ago. So. Yeah, so it will be quite difficult. Probably that's why a lot of people find it difficult to uh, understand or teach one little because uh, they took Comsai 130, which is digital design, too long ago. Okay, so, so that means that in the first few meetings, we'll devote some time to review uh, Comsai 130. So I, th I, I hope Mam Riza was, uh, was able to teach you about the stuff about design because those are essential in Comsai 132. Okay? So the aim of this course is to introduce the students to the design of computer system hardware basically. and at the end uh, you should be able to describe the hardware organization of uh, computer systems uh, from remember that I always tell you in 131 or early programming courses you have the fetch decode execute cycle and everything should be in the main memory. Right? So if you are a, a developer of hardware, right, you have to find a mechanism to allow the data and program from the disk to be placed in the main memory. Right? So how is that accomplished? Right? You can hardware that or you can have, uh, let's say, a firmware that reads data bytes from the disk and then to the memory, something like that. And uh, second one, describe the internal operation of processors. So uh, per, you need to review uh, sequential combination, uh, combinational circuits. Right? So those things, because th those are the building blocks of COPSI 132. Right? So for example, uh, sum of products, products of sums, those representations. So we need to review that. And uh, Finally, you have to be able to design a simple computer system. This will be part of, I think, of the project. Okay? The project will, be, will uh, force you to design your own simple computer system with its own instruction set. And it should be implemented in a, you're going to learn what you call a hardware description language. So you're, you're learning a lot of languages in computer science. And uh, one of uh, that, one of the languages will be the hardware description language. So we actually have VHDL as a specific type of hardware description language that allows you to uh, somehow implement your hardware design in the form of software. Right? And then you can simulate uh, the execution of that piece of hardware before eventually fabricating that in, let's say, a PCB or whatever board. Right? So it all starts with the conceptual design and then implement, implementing that in a simulation or in a high hardware description language, doing a simulation to test if everything is okay and then if it's okay, you fabricate that uh, in physical or hardware, actual hardware. Okay? So those are the main things that uh, we're going to look into. So this page is, is not yet complete but uh, I looked into the uh, ACM curriculum uh, recommendations 2013 uh, uh, and uh, this is basically the mm, things that uh, should be discussed based on the recommendation so yung cur ACM curriculum uh, recommendation focuses on mga parang ano yung mga recommended na dapat din discuss sa isang computer science curriculum now this one is in the architecture and the uh, organization part right so as I said uh, I hope we will be able to cover all of these uh, things in this uh, course so probably some of these are familiar already to you uh, from say from come say 130 for example 
uh, combinational and sequential logic okay? uh, in COMSE 130, I think uh, this has been discussed. I asked uh, Sir Perico to check kung ano yung mga na-discuss nila nila. And kasama to, uh, uh, multi uh, multiple representations, layers of interpretation, hardware is just another layer. So normally, uh, sa computer systems, no, it's always uh, the concept of complexity. If you, pag system, complex yan. How do you manage complexity? You form a hierarchy, you introduce layering. So, nandiyan yan. Uh, Computer-aided design tools, uh, meron tayong, uh, I think, GTK Wave and uh, GHDL to simulate the, to, to implement the design in uh, hardware description language. Okay, so this one, and uh, yeah, some physical constraints, we also discuss that. So this is for the digital logic and design, uh, for, no, uh, yeah, for this. Uh, the next is uh, machine level, so this one is from 131, right? So bits, bytes, words, uh, numeric representation of data, comp tools complement, okay, negative numbers, a fixed and floating point representation, IEEE, representation 754, uh, discussed in 130 and 131. Okay, so, to, cover, kumbaga, will, kumbaga, na cover nyo na to, okay? Hopefully. Assembly language, so, uh, uh, x86. So, maraming klase ng assembly language. So, you have to remember that. What you learned in ComSci 131 is, sino ang tapasan ng 131 dito? Lahat kayo tapasan ng 131. So, uh, what you learned in 131 is an uh, uh, x86 assembly language. So, it's specific to uh, Intel x86 based processors. And it get, uh, inabot ko pa yung 16 bit, then 32 bit, and then last semester I introduced uh, 64 bit. And I think this semester they're already uh, applying 64 bit because yun yung uh, word size ng, ng machine. Right? Uh, so, all of these have been, I think, discussed. So, Somehow, pag tinitingnan nyo to, parang marirealize nyo, ah, yun pala yung computer science. Yun pala yung inaaral namin. So, that's why ito yung mga uh, nandito. Uh, siguro ang hindi ko na na-discuss doon yung I.O. Uh, meron tayong I.O. sa 131. Last time, which is uh, reading files using system calls to it. Pero hindi na yung sa BIOS. Uh, the different parts of the memory. Okay, na-discuss na natin yan. Uh, shared memory. So, wala tayong, ano, wala tayong ganyang discussion. I think we'll introduce that here in uh, 132 as well as the Flynn's taxonomy and uh, parallelism. Single instruction, multiple data, multiple instruction, multiple data. So, uh, low level uh, parallelism. Okay? Uh, memory systems. Uh, ano yung memory systems? Meron na tayong discuss, uh, in 131 last time, I discussed uh, memory hierarchy, but we're going to go into details here. Uh, these are also discussed in ComSci 125. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, since ako din yung nagtuturo ng 125, parang i-mix-mix ko na lang yung dalawa. Okay. So, kung ano yung i-focus ko sa 125 memory, bawasan ko na lang ng konti dito para makapag-introduce ng additional topics. So, we're going to talk about the page table, the translation look aside buffer, etc. So, all of these are, are discussed, will be discussed, okay, hopefully, this, uh, no, uh, in this uh, course, right? So, main memory organization, we're going to, although in, in the, in 131, uh, discuss something about uh, DRAM, right? And SSDs, so we'll go into details here, kung paano ba talaga ini-implement at the circuit level. Uh... So that's that's memory organization. Uh, interfacing and communication. Uh, this will just be discussed. Siguro sa one two five to. Okay? So we're going to talk about uh, how. Kahit sa one three one, meron yung overview ng direct memory access. Okay? So uh, and storage devices. So we discuss din natin to dito sa sa one three two. Okay? Eh, oh, naalala niyo pa, but. Yeah, interrupts, okay, uh, they will be this, I think, they will be discussed here also, and I think in 131, okay. Uh, functional organization, 
So, mapapansin nyo, may iba rito na discuss na, may iba na ngayon pa lang i-cover. Okay? So, data path. So, dito ngayon to i-implement, uh, dito ngayon yun to aaralin sa uh, 1, 3, 2. So, data paths. Okay? Pipelining. Uh, there was, I, I have uh, mentioned this pipelining in 1, 3, 1 when uh, we were talking about some uh, instructions. Okay? So, we discuss pipelining and hazards, different hazards. Uh, the control unit, okay. so the control unit will dictate yung, ano yung, what operation will be performed by the processor. Okay. So we'll discuss the circuitry behind that, okay. uh, pipelining and instruction level parallel. So this will be he discussed here in Comsai One. So computer architecture would something would have something to do with the functional organization. Okay. So yung building block blocks mo ay logic gates. You, you group them together to form, let's say, the ALU, the control unit, and the memory. And then, you integrate them to create a process. That's the idea. So, uh, multiprocessing. Okay, multiprocessing, uh, we'll discuss this. Uh, actually, COMSI 180. Okay? May COMSI 180 ba kayo? Wala. So, COMSI 180 will involve multiprocessing, parallel processing. So, We'll discuss uh, power so siguro or, or, or uh, ano lang, uh, overview lang. but this part will be discussed actually in Comsai 180 if you're going to take Comsai 180 parallel programming okay? but we'll give an overview of these uh, things here in uh, Comsai 182 and I think the last part is performance enhancements so measurements uh, in Comsai 125 I mentioned about efficiency okay? so how does the operating system uh, uh, make the makes uh, efficient use of the hardware resources, processor, memory, etc. Now, here when uh, performance, when measuring performance in the hardware level, we usually talk about uh, instructions per second, or sometimes we have uh, CPIs, right? So. Your processor is uh, high performance if it can perform millions of instructions per second or billions of instructions per second. How do you achieve those performance? So those are the uh, tips that are, are I mean, uh, priority. Okay? So improving the performance. And we have uh, different te techniques for achieving that at the hard, hard will, hardware level. So for example, uh, we can have the branch prediction. Okay? So normally, if you have programs, may mga uh, selection statements tayo, if, case, ganyan, diba? And normally, they will be executed sequentially. Okay? Now, if the processor can predict that this piece of code will not be executed, and instead, or uh, determine the next steps that will be executed ahead of time, then it can take some shortcuts in the circuitry to improve its performance. Okay. So that's uh, things like branch prediction, speculative execution, and out-of-order execution. And unfortunately, this has become a security problem. Okay. Have you heard of uh, the uh, Spectre problem? Okay. So, the idea of the Spectre problem is dahil nga yung architecture niya ay merong uh, speculative execution and uh, branch prediction. Halimbawa, may dalawang virtual machine ka. Yung isang virtual machine, pwede niyang i-analyze yung isola side channel attack. Pwede niyang i-analyze yung isang virtual machine. Tapos, based on the analysis, pwede niyang ma-predict yung content, contents ng memory or ng cache. Dahil meron siyang implementation ng special execution. Okay, so, meron tinatawag ng specter attack. Uh, I don't know if you've heard that. Uh, and meltdown specter. Okay. Uh, so, sabi dito. Okay, so basically, it allows you to, you know, uh, uh, to examine. It's called side channel attack. Okay. okay. So 
can read more about this but nowadays uh, essential na rin yung computer architecture when designing uh, uh, I mean kumbaga uh, security is also embedded in the design of computer architecture okay? kasi ngayon yung mga attacks hindi na lang sa software uh, yung mga sophisticated attacks actually can now happen at the hardware level. So, for example, uh, yung Intel, meron silang uh, uh, SGX yata yan. So, yan. So, at the hardware level, uh, Intel uh, provides uh, har hardware-based isolation. So, paano ginagawa yan? Dati, yung pag-design mo lang ng processor, may ALU ka, may memory ka, may control unit ka, happy ka na doon. Pero ngayon, Dahil nga pwede ka nang mag-attack sa hardware level, kailangan at the hardware level, meron ka na rin safeguards para hindi mabasa yung data mo dun sa, sa hardware. Okay? So, somehow, uh, we'll be able to cover uh, that. Okay? So, pre-fetching. Okay? So, you may fetch the code execute cycle tayo. Okay? What if, uh, wag na natin hintayin yung ibang na, kumbaga yung control unit na sabihin na i-fetch to. We fetch by bulk. Okay? Parang gano'n. Let's say, a page size. Okay? So, it's done. Uh, vector processors and GPUs. Okay? Uh, for sure, lahat ng may mga gaming uh, uh, devices dito na gaming PC or laptop has a GPU. Okay? Graphics uh, processor unit. So, it's a different type of architecture. Data parallel. Okay? So, Ano yung architecture niya? Right. So, we'll try to look at that uh, also. Kung ano yung difference niya. Maybe I can invite uh, Sir Clinton to uh, give a guest lecture on the internals and uh, how this uh, GPU work. Right? Kasi part din siya ng computer architecture. Eh. Yeah, add mo sa PCIe interface and then yung performance ng graphics. Okay, ganda. Uh, hardware support for multi-threading. Okay, uh, we'll discuss that uh, and uh, some topics. Okay, so ito hindi ako familiar sa mga to, but uh, let's see what, uh, how far we can uh, get. Okay, so ito yung mga, somehow, okay, somehow I hope na a common problem with COMSA 132 is parang it's treated as an isolated topic. Okay, pero in essence hindi. Uh, dito muna kung baga sinisynthesize yung mga uh, ibang topics na na-discuss sa ibang courses, specifically logic, uh, digital design and uh, assembly language. Okay? So, are there questions at this point? Yan? Okay, so, uh, I don't know kung na kayo sa, ano, sa classroom, but, uh, or, ang ginawa ko lang kasi dinownload ko lang yung, ano, yung nasa size na email, tapos, in-import ko lang sa classroom. Yun na. I don't know kung na-pass na Okay. So, we're going to, uh, in the case of the breakdown, so this is my typical uh, breakdown. Uh, so, we have a project here. Okay. So, same lang to ng 125 and uh, yeah, this will be the breakdown. So, 45% relay exams, uh, quizzes, uh, project 10%, lab 35%, the pre-final, and then the finals is required. Okay. Uh, and then the final grade will be uh, based from the pre-final grade and 20% of the uh, final grade, uh, final exam, right? So, policy, so, yeah. but then I'm upset, I'm I will be recording the uh, lectures and then, uh, so, you know, maximize, you know, so, 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 because I give quizzes, right? I give quizzes every meeting, uh, start of the class, so alas ocho tayo, so <laughs> sana no, uh, maging consistent tayo na, na ako na magsinang maaga. Uh, kung hindi naman, di walang quiz, kung malate ako. Uh, uh, five point quiz, uh, one bonus based on recent events, entertainment, sports, music, ng random basic uh, bonus question. Okay, so 
Uh, Sir Clinton sa laboratory. So, hindi ko siya nalagay dito. Uh, still, uh, in the, this one is still in the process. So, of, uh, I'm still polishing this. Uh, uh, so, yeah. For our resources, so ito, hindi pa nais yung schedule. Uh, okay, so, we're going to use two main textbooks here. Uh, I hope at this point in your studies, I marunong na kayong maghanap ng, hindi ko ini-encourage na maghanap na kayo ng uh, tawag dito ng e-book ng mga to. Pero I'm sure at this point, marunong na kayo maghanap. Okay? So, these are the, uh, as a hint, you can use, you can search for uh, Z Library. Z Library. Okay? So, nandito, nandun lahat to. Okay? Pero, masama yun. Okay? Okay. So, yeah. so, these are the two books. Now, traditionally, uh, Professor Ricario actually uses this one. Okay? But, I think, in my own uh, evaluation of this textbook, this is quite advanced if you haven't grasped the topics here. Okay. So, this is, I think, is uh, more, ad more advanced and uh, what I'm going to do in this uh, uh, offering will be we're going to take some parts of uh, some chapters from this book and then we move on to this more advanced topic. Kasi yung, yung mga yung, uh, GPU, dito na kinocover yun eh. Pero yung mga fundamentals like uh, pipelining, etc. Nandito yun. Okay, so, uh, upisahan natin uh, dito and then we move to this. Okay? So, please prepare one. Uh, ganito lang muna tayo. Uh, uh, please prepare uh, one for sheet of uh, paper for your attendance. Uh, I have here the how many here are first takers of uh, comes ah uh, non first takers na lang of uh, one three two. Please raise your hand. Non first takers. So everybody first takers. Okay, so at least uh, magawa wala pa kayong experience dito pero okay. So, ito yung mga ano ni Sir uh, Reg, kung gusto niyo, pwede nang i-share to para meron kayong comparison for evaluation. But, uh, yeah. Si uh, siguro pasadahan natin to, konti. Ito yung introductory slides niya. So, the uh, this, is, this course is usually offered every uh, second sem. Okay, so that's why here it's 18. So ngayon, 19.20 tayo. So, for, unfortunately, ako yung may hawak. Kaya mag-jack series kayo. Okay, so... Uh, okay. So, ito, maganda tong ladder, no? Para maintindihan nyo. So, you have 1, 2, 3. Uh, data structures and some algorithms, stacks, queues, hash tables, etc. 130, combinational uh, circuits, uh, Sequential circuits, etc. Uh, 131, assembly programming. I don't know why there is micro instructions here, but we didn't go into details of the individual instructions. But assembly programming, great. And uh, 132, we are currently taking so in your progression. So usually the intersection yung 125 sa 132, pero this is the typical, ano, typical flow. So, knowledge of these things is important uh, in understanding of Seba 3.2. Right? So, yan. Yan lang basically yung ano natin. And then, we'll, this, we'll formally start the lecture on uh, Friday. Right? So, do you have other questions about this class? Okay. Uh, the lab will be, I think, uh, HDL. HDL. So, you're going to learn some uh, syntax. Uh, uh, about PhD. Okay, so we'll have a discussion paper and see you on uh, uh, Friday.